Now, the Attorney General's office has vowed to produce evidence that will show beyond reasonable doubts that the minority's uh, spokesperson on finance, Kizila Tufosin, caused a 2.5 million euro loss to the state. This has to do with the procurement of ambulances, which are said to be unfit for purpose. Court correspondent Joseph Akable was in court when Mr. Forsen pleaded not guilty to the charges. The Attorney General's office on Tuesday responded to allegations that its prosecution of Dr. Atu Forsen is politically motivated. Alfred Tuayabua is a Deputy Attorney General. We come to court with evidence. The matter has just started. We are going to lead evidence in court. At the end of the day, the evidence will show that this case is not a case where we are trying to use any other means to weaken their, their, their strength. Nothing of that sort. Pure legal matters and nothing. We are dealing with what we have through the investigations conducted by the Ghana Police Service and Iyoko. So based on what we have, we think these are the appropriate people to be brought before this court. This one is a fake ambulance scandal and we are ready anytime to appear before the courts and put across our case. Dr. Forsen himself had the opportunity to respond to the charges leveled against him. He pleaded not guilty as he was granted a self-recognizance bill. The other two accused persons were also granted bills with sureties in the sum of 2 million and 5 million CDs, respectively. A Phyllis Kwachiofos, who served in government with a doctor to force and insist that the case is politically motivated. Mr. Kwachiofos, we spoke to the AG's office a short while ago. I mean, yesterday we heard from one of your leaders in parliament who believes that uh, there's an attempt to weaken your front. But the AG's office, they've responded, they say that it's the evidence that is speaking, and that's why they are in court. I mean, you served in, in government with Mr. Force, and what do you make of what you heard in court today about the facts? Well, if, if the evidence indeed spoke, the AG would not be in court. Because we are clear in our minds that everything done around the subject matter of the purchase of the 200 ambulances was above board. It was done in compliance with the laws and regulations of the Republic of Ghana. The necessary approvals and authorizations were sought. Uh, no payment was done irregularly. As far as we are concerned, no loss has been occasioned to the state of Ghana. The Attorney General's office has been given up until 8 February 2022 to make the necessary disclosures, i.e. to make available to the court documents they intend to use as evidence against the accused persons. Uh, the trial continues on 14th of February 2022. For joining us on the Law Courts Complex, my name is Joseph Akable. The opposition National Democratic Congress is accusing the government of waging psychological warfare against Speaker of Parliament Alban Badbin in an attempt to compromise him after the military hierarchy withdrew some four military men from the security detail of the Speaker. The matter has become an issue of political footballing with both sides of the political divide going at each other. In a statement signed by the NDC National Chairman Samuel of Uzampofo, the party accused President Ekufuado of seeking to compromise the independence of Parliament. My colleague Kweku Asante has a copy of the statement issued by uh, Ofosuan Pofo and joins me via Zoom with details. Uh, Kweku, does the party provide any evidence to back these assertions? Ernest, so the party in this strongly worded statement purport to explain why they believe that the government is trying to wage a psychological warfare against Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbe. They say in the statement that was signed by National Chairman Uswam Bofo that the current Speaker of Parliament is currently battling some ailments. And so at a point in time when he's traveling out to go and sort out his health issues, we know that the Speaker is currently in Dubai for his routine medical checkup and for government and uh, through the military hierarchy to decide at this point to withdraw four military personnel from his security detail is just trying to work on the mind of the speaker so that the speaker can go soft on government. We know that one of the key battle issues that is going to go when parliament resumes 25th of this month is the E-Levy, which government says they are going to put back on the agenda of parliament. And so according to um, this statement from the NDC, they are suggesting that government is trying to do something to coerce the speaker or to convince him to actually look at uh, to actually tone down on the stand that he and some minority MPs has taken. And so they are claiming 
that the speaker is not going to budge on this issue and the speaker is still going to stand on where he's been standing since this raging controversy began. Uh, what does the party say about the explanation offered by the military high command and the national security uh, ministry on this issue? So the party is not convinced at all by the explanation that was offered by the military uh, high command that said that they were, they were withdrawing the security to actually ensure that it's regularized so that the military men can go back into the video. They are not convinced by that. They say, when did the military notice that these security men that are attached to speaker's detail were not regularized? And if that were so, what are the issues for these people to regularize, for them to retain? But at the same time, while the military high command has been explaining that these men will return, for instance, if the arrangement is regularized, the National Security Ministry has been explaining that the military in the first place should not even be guarding the speaker, seeking to suggest that there is no way these four military men who were taken away from the speaker are going to return to our bank backbench security detail. And so they'll be making the point that these two positions are at variance with each other, and it exposes what they claim to be the thoughts of government to try and bolster or force the hands of the Speaker of Parliament as well as other minority MPs to losing their stance on some of government business in the House. We well, thank you very much for bringing us those details from the NDC statement uh, on the recent happenings and also as far as specifically the withdrawal of the Speaker uh, uh, military detail is concerned.